Hey everyone, hi and good morning. Welcome back to Do We Live. My name is Annika and I'm your host today. Thank you so much, Ken, for joining us again for day two with the Do We Express. How are you today? I'm doing great. It's 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 super exciting to be back, and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. I think. Yeah, we're making LinkedIn carousel posts today, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna be doing carousel posts for LinkedIn and Instagram, which is like a hot topic right now on LinkedIn. A great way to showcase your knowledge. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah, I have been creating some more LinkedIn posts, so I'm super excited for today. If you guys are joining us both on YouTube or on Behance, we are taking live questions, so make sure to drop them in the chat. And um, Ken, why don't you introduce yourself again for those of us who did not join us yesterday and then dive into Adobe Express. So hi, my name is Ken Shinneberry. I am a New Yorker currently living in Germany. In New York, I worked in film and TV for 13 years. Then I moved into marketing once I got to Europe and been working with major brands like Adobe and a few other tech brands as well, too, uh, since I moved here. And I also teach at the Digital Career Institute here in Germany. So I'm all about inspiring people to go out and create cool things. So hopefully we'll be able to inspire people today. So just to give you a little bit more about right here. So these are some links that you guys will be able to find me on uh, online. So you can come always come back to this in the video after this uh, stream and check out these. And also I stream weekly on Sunday on Behance as well too. And that's usually on like 3 p.m. Central European time, 4 p.m. depending. But it's not always every Sunday because sometimes I need to spend some time with my wife. And, you know, sometimes there's holidays like this weekend. German carnival. Yay. So, but yeah, let's dive into uh, Adobe Express. I'm super excited and stoked. I already have it pulled up. So That's cool. Right. Yeah. Um, I just want to give a shout out to the chat that we had um, remixable templates yesterday. So if you missed the stream yesterday, um, in the stream description, you will be able to find the remixable templates as well. And you'll get a remixable template today too. So Oh, uh, I did not know that. That's fun. Yeah. yeah there, there's one for this as well too. So uh, I, I shared it. So hopefully you guys will get it. If not, we'll add it to the description down below afterwards so this is an example of a carousel post that could be used on linkedin or on instagram now linkedin you can do up to 20 pages but instagram you can only do 10 so i would always stick to roughly you know 10 or under when you're creating carousel posts this way that you can kind of transfer that post onto another platform if you want to because why just share it on linkedin we can share it on instagram as well too right makes sense you know get more exposure get more bang for your buck so just going to show you guys this um and kind of talk about each one and then we'll dive into how to edit one of the slides okay so right here we have the intro slide now you're always going to have an intro and an end slide so if you create 10 slides you're going to have one intro and one end slide so you'll only have eight slides of content okay so keep that in mind this set is only seven slides i believe so we have the title up here and then we have a font right here which is the same font as this one and we have this nice girl image that kind of matches the idea of what we're sharing you know i think you know having that kind of like idea of what you're sharing throughout and kind of getting people hyped for the information is good so then we move into the next slide. So this is the first tip. And right here, you can see I added a different font to this. So I know on Adobe Express Live on the, well, on the Adobe Express YouTube channel, there's a nice video on font pairing, by the way, guys. So guys, you guys can look that video up as well too. But I always think, you know, stick with something bold for your, your titles or your main portion of your contents. This is like source, uh, sans source, uh, black, I believe, or bold, one of the two. And this is Poppins, like regular. I like Poppins. It's kind of a nice little font right there. And then yeah. you can see we have another slide right here as well, too. And another one just kind of giving, you know, tips and so forth. And you could do this for anything. You could do design tips. You could do like uh, illustrator tips. You could do like trends in illustration or trends in Photoshop. You know, you could do anything uh, with creating a carousel post. Yeah, absolutely. I want to do a favorite fonts trends. Um, Ooh, that would be like, really good. Ooh, if yeah. you post that, I'm definitely going to have to watch that and give it a like. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Um, why don't we get started and create the carousel? Um, I think we okay. have some friends in chat. I want to say hi to everyone before we do that. Um, hi Cody, hi Milan, Sean, Sarah, Kirsty, Gareth. Um, friends on YouTube, Minerva. Um, UIX Tips. Thank you so much for joining. Um, uh, let's start. Let's let's get into it. Okay. All right. So I am just going to open up a custom size. And because we might post this not just on LinkedIn or what on a, it might go on Instagram too, we're just going to go with a square. So I'm just going to do five by five. Yes, I'm a nerd. I told you those are my, it's my go-to number five by five. I don't know why. It's just something that I always do. All right. So we have that up right here. Okay. Very nice. Plain white. Let's choose a background and I'm going to just type in, I think the color yellow. And so are we going to create something for um, networking again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, I mean, see. this is this kind of showcase like your knowledge. So just trying to find a nice like little background. This one could be cool right here. I like that one. We'll just click this and there that is. Now, one thing that I found that you could do that if you don't want to have this like fully to see the lines that it might distract from things. If you come over here, you can hit blur and you can adjust this and make it a little blur. So then you get just kind of get this kind of like wavy effect, which is kind of nice. So we have that. Okay. I want to add, let's see, some text. So first I'm just going to choose the right here, add your own text. We're just going to do five and we're going to make this kind of big. We're going to make it scale it up a little bit, maybe like 132, something like that. Maybe we'll go up a little bit bigger. We can either scale right here or we can always drag in the corner. I love again how Express is like really cool. We're just going to drag that right up there. So we have five. So obviously it's going to be five tips. Okay. All right. So let's add some more text. Let's add and say, do, do, do. Let's say social trends or social media trends, since that's what I did. And so you guys know the remix little template that you'll get for today is only on one page because you can't share multiple pages from my understanding. So when you guys get that template, you'll only get like one page, but then you can add additional pages to it. So that's just so you know, when you open that up and you go, oh, hey, why is there only one page here and not five or, you know, you know, the whole thing, yeah. okay just to kind of explain it as well too. So we have this right there and let's see, let's type in trends and we'll just duplicate this real quick. So just duplicate and that way we get the same font and we'll just change this to trends. So when you mentioned the remixable template, can it, do you think we can open it in the app? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 You'll be able to open it up in the app just like yesterday. It's just that we can only share one page with it from my understanding. I couldn't share like multiple pages. So with that page, you have all the fonts and everything. You just have to build the extra pages. Yeah. So I think that feature is for the application is still under development, but if you do it on the web, um, there's a different way to do it, but on the application, there's only one page. You're right about that. Yep. Let's yeah. But see. You can Always go in and add multiple pages like you're going to demonstrate yep. here today. Mm -hmm. Love that. So we're just going to add 2023. We're going to change this to white. And again, we're just going to adjust this kind of like so it kind of fits and lines up. Oops. Something like that. And then just scroll this out like that. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is just add a shape. And I'm just going to look for a basic shape like a square, something like this, and put this in here. Now it's not the right size. So I just want to just kind of like scale it a little bit. Oops, maybe this isn't the one that I wanted, but let's see. I think there was one. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're just adding kind of like a highlight to this. And I think, you know, adding like a highlight color where you put your information in your text is kind of nice. So we're just going to, let's make this a fill color. Let's go with kind of a, a not just a little bit darker than this. So kind of like an orangish color, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of just so it highlights, it pops, it stands out. And I can always adjust this when I add my photo. So if I choose like a, you know, a hero image, I can always adjust that color a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to go into photos and I think we're going to try to find, you know, social media girl, maybe see what comes up. Ooh, this one could be nice. We're going to try this one. 
because I think this one will work with uh, everything. Now, there's a background there, but I love that we have removed background. So we can remove the background on this and we could just get the girl. And let's see if it works. Adobe Sensei uh, for the win. Oh, one it... little booger right there. It didn't want to read the sign. Sometimes that happens. I found... Let's see if I can find another one. I think the colors of the heart and the background were too close. That's it was too close to the other one. Yeah. I think I, I agree. I think it was... Th let's try this one right here. That one looks nice. Let's see. And she looks happy too. I like all the, the, the pictures on here. You know, uh, granted, you probably can find some sad people too if you type in sad into the thing. But, you know, we don't want that. We want happy. All right. Work for me. Work for me. Are you going to do it? Bada bing, yeah, bada boom. I love it. That's so cool. Like, that would take hours in Photoshop, like tracing around an image. And we have it with Adobe Sensei built into uh, Adobe Express. I just, so cool. Now, I could go in there and adjust it a little bit more, you know, with the erase and restore, yeah. but we don't really have time to do that. But I think that's fine. I think that's cool. She looks happy. Look at that. Nice smile right there. And then all we have to do is add some text. Like, uh, what would be cool to write? So maybe let's go in here add text and maybe ken's not making this maybe 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 this is annika's you know uh project so <laughs> i'm just gonna look up for poppins so do right. you usually create um carousel boosts in adobe express ken i do uh both adobe express and i do indesign so it just kind of depends but i like with adobe express that you can go like really quickly and yeah. build something really fast so let's come up with some text real quick. Let's say that will be important for marketers. And then we can adjust. Let's say, make this a little bit smaller, something like this. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. And then it's it's pretty much, you know, just copying and moving this to each page. So if we were to create a new page, we just do add page. And mm -hmm. then that's where our, our content would go. So we just do, whoops, do, 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 same as this page, five by five. All right. Or actually, you know what? Let's erase that and let's go back to this one. Let's just duplicate this one. That's smarter because we have all our yeah. fonts there. Why would we want to start from scratch? Yeah, so we're now, smarter, not harder. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So now this is where our bulk content would come in. So I would change this. I would just get rid of this, maybe get rid of this, and then this. And then we can just change this to, let's see edutainment that's what we're doing today edutainment yeah. so we could do edutainment uh and this is actually true so this is actually things that i found uh we'll just duplicate this real quick and then we'll do kind of a subheader on whoops let's erase this content will rock I always, if you if you guys knew me like really well, you know that I say, oh, that rocks all the time. It's kind of like my go-to word, especially like on Slack. <laughs> so we have this, right? Okay. So yeah. we're going to just erase this image and we're going to find maybe, maybe somebody rocking out. So let's see, uh, singer, uh, male, just for something different. And let's see if I can find one this this looks this looks cute right here and this might work so let's let's try to remove the background on this and see if it works david aiken and chat is saying that they realized that they also started to use adobe express once they realized how quicker it was than using other applications i love it's, that yeah it's so easy and big shout out to Aiken, by the way, too. Aiken's one of my mods for uh, my live streams every Sunday. So he is like super cool and really helps me out so much. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to pull some text I already have. Let's just see. Copy. And then we are going to change this text. It's, it's so easy that if you already have your text, you can always adjust. And then we can make this a little bit smaller. 
and make it over a little bit more something like that and then he that looks that looks fun right Yeah, I like that you use the same font and just size it down to like maintain consistency and cohesiveness in your design. exactly you have a good eye you see what i'm doing you must be a design in fact i know you're a designer anyways don't kid me so uh but yeah no it, it's it's good to be consistent with your style like don't jump around don't try to go for like five ten fonts or something like that try to stick with it so let's pretend that we've already kind of created everything uh for this let me just zoom uh to my page i have a I'm cheating. I'm looking at my screen with what I already created for the the other one. I might share this on a post on LinkedIn. So we have this right here. We're going to change this to our end screen. So let's say we've already had the five tips. Let's just duplicate this. So we're just going to pretend that we've made all the tips, okay? Yeah, yeah. And I am just going to erase some things and move things around. We're going to erase our little guy. We're just going to, I think, upload. I think I have an image in my folder on here somewhere. Do I? Do I? I thought I did. Maybe I don't. But I do have pictures somewhere on here. I'm just going to grab a generic one from, let's see. Whoops, 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 whoops. Camera roll. All right. We're just going to pull one from from what I use for I, for for my Behance thumbnails for my live things. I had one that was a little bit better, but okay, it is what it is. So we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. That's fine. And you know what? I think I might even take the colors out of that too. So let's just see. If Yeah, I... there are basic photo editing tools inside Adobe Express that I really love using, especially the filters. Um, they're super fun to use. Yep. So let's just take this over here. Move that and let's make this a little bit smaller. And then uh, this will be, I'll just move that Ken over here a little bit and we'll get the text right here. We'll move this and then let's get rid of this and this and let's add, I think I have my DYC logo on my desktop in this folder. So do I, do I, do I, do I, do I? I thought I did, maybe I don't. Okay, all right, we're going with Gamescom. <laughs> since Gamescom, since it's right there. So if I had the DYC Studios folder up, I would do that, but yeah. it is what it is. So then let's say, let's copy this and duplicate it. And let's bring this up here. And I have some I know text. we mentioned um, using the same assets on Instagram and LinkedIn, Ken. Um, mm -hmm. Would you be able to show us how to make those as PDFs when you upload to LinkedIn once we're done with this? Yes, I will show that here in two seconds. I'm just going to uh, change this real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. And oops, move this. Okay. And then I would just change this to Let's Connect. I'm going to bring a window down so you can see what I would do. So this is this is what I already prepared. Mm -hmm. So just to show you guys. So this is, I think, what you will actually get in the uh, remixable template so it's this end page and you have the fonts right there and then you have a little icon for the email and things like that which all came from over here in the shapes by the way uh and then of course we did the uh, created with adobe express because we like to flex adobe express but let's dive into uh acrobat and show you how you can change this into a pdf because when you upload if you get to the linkedin page it'll say like when you're posting it'll say upload like document that's what you want to upload so yeah. what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over here and i already have it so let's say you saved these pages okay so your pages are saved out of adobe express onto your computer okay how did you save those pages can we um Ooh, see that yes Uh, let's go right back here and just go download. Are those PDFs? All pages. Uh, they'll be JPEGs. Okay. So we're going to turn it into a PDF for LinkedIn. Now for Instagram, you want to keep it as JPEGs. Okay. Um, so just something like this, and then you just start download. Okay. All right. And then that will save onto your desktop. And then you just go right here, open up Adobe Acrobat, and then you go to File, and you go to Create, and then you go to Combine Files into a Single PDF, okay? So I just click this, and then right here I have my folder where everything's stored. I can just go and do Control or Strong if you're using a German keyboard. 
you're using an English keyboard, it would be, you know. Yeah. And then I just click uh, open and then I do combine. And it goes nice. boom, boom, that's, boom. That's a nice. And there it's, I could just do file, save as, and I would just choose like a, right there. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. And let's name this uh, five tips. Oops. Sorry. Five tips, social media, mm -hmm. save. And just to show you guys, I'm going to jump into LinkedIn real quick and show you guys. Because I think we have a couple seconds where I can do that. Oh, absolutely. We have about five minutes left in the stream. Oh, so maybe perfect. we can awesome. come back um, to Adobe Express as well. Cool. Is there just... a reason that you do not download PDF versions of the um, file from Adobe Express itself? I don't know. I just ended up doing it that way. I just, okay. I, it's just something I, I did. So I, I've just put them as JPEGs and then I open them up in Acrobat and combine them. I don't, I, maybe it's the old school side of me. Uh, <laughs> still taking around. So what I would do is I would just go in here, create a post and mm -hmm. then right here, add document. That's what you want to do for uh, LinkedIn. And then I just choose my file and we go to the Adobe Express uh, desktop right here on my desk. And right there it is. And it will add and create it. So I could give a title like a description. So five marketing tips and just click done. So um, I don't know why, but I have been listening to this a lot where people say that you have to upload PDFs to LinkedIn for it to be at optimal viewing. Um, pleasure of the audience do you think that it's just pdfs is there a particular no no uh, no you could do videos and photos you definitely should do images because images definitely will get people's attention instead of just posting so yeah. always include an image in your post no matter where you post whether it be facebook or whatever but you could see right here because i uploaded it as a pdf it mm -hmm. gets this kind of slider going yeah. And that's the cool thing. Because if you were to upload these as like 10 images, then it would do like, you know, kind of like this square thing with like all the different images and then have like plus four in the corner or yeah. whatever. So this is why you upload it to LinkedIn as a PDF. And just to show you, we'll go on Instagram real quick, what you can do with uh, a post. Because I have a post I did not too long ago, if I go to my profile right here. And you can actually, when you upload this as images, to yeah. uh instagram it will ask you if you want to add like an animation and the cool thing is you can actually click on it and hold especially if you're on your phone and then or pause and then uh people can read it a little bit more but the cool thing is like i said you can really like animate your slides and things of that nature on instagram so wow i didn't actually know that you could do that on instagram with carousel post that yeah it was something that i but you, again that's jpegs this is not the the pdf yeah, so it, yeah no, uh, but you already have the JPEG version of it saved after you saved out of it. So I think that's okay. why I probably did it that way. So, but yeah. cool. Yeah, that's that's basically like how you can really like create like a really cool kind of uh, social media post. And what I, this, like I said, this could be for anything. And realize when you're creating like a carousel post, you're promoting yourself, you're promoting your knowledge, you're showcasing that you're an expert in something. Mm -hmm. And people will look on that, whether they be recruiters or potential clients or companies that you're applying for jobs with. You know, the more you put yourself out there and promote who you are and what you do, you know, the better chances things will happen. And you never know when or where your talent will be discovered. And that's something that I always say at conferences. So to me, I think if you create something like this, you know, it's a lot of fun. And again, it could be like five tips for photography or seven tips and so forth. So but, absolutely. Yeah, love that. Thank you so much for sharing. Ken, um, would you like to tell the audience where they can reach out to you once um, after the stream if they want to stay in touch and see all the yeah, LinkedIn characters of, posts? Of um, course. I think it's always great to like connect with everybody you know, outside of uh, the streams. In fact, you can always write me. If you ask my community on Behance, I will usually respond and usually quite quickly. And if you write me on LinkedIn, I definitely respond like insanely fast because it's, it's hooked up to my phone. So right here here uh this link right here will get you all my links so that's basically just lnk.bio that backslash 
DYC Studios, which stands for Dusseldorf York City Studios, because I live in Dusseldorf and I'm a New Yorker. It happened at a conference one time. I made the joke and it just stuck. So then people started emailing, <laughs> how's the weather in Dusseldorf York City? And it became my brand. So Love that. Um, yeah, we might have those links in chat as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube or on Behance, please click on those links and give Kenneth a follow. Thank you so much, Kenneth, for joining us for these two amazing days for Adobe Express. Um, I hope you have a good day. Thanks so much for joining. And thanks so much, Jack, for joining. We'll see you another time. Thanks. Legendary. <laughs>